So here we have the mass of the aircraft, m. Going up would, of course, be the force of the lift cosine of theta. To the right, we have the force of the lift sine of theta. This would simply be the magnitude of the force of the lift, and then it's making an angle with the vertical theta. Going straight down would be the gravitational force, mg. And so we can apply Newton's second law. We also note that the absolute value of the centripetal acceleration would be equaling to the velocity squared over r. Given this, we can say that the force of the lift sine of theta will be equaling to the mass times the velocity squared over r. And we have the force of the lift cosine of theta equaling mg. Eliminating mass from these equations, we find that then tangent of theta equals v squared over gr. And this equation allows us to solve for the radius r. So r is going to be equaling the velocity squared divided by g tangent of theta. So this would be equaling to 133 meters per second quantity squared. This would be divided by 9.8 meters per second squared multiplied by tangent of 40 degrees. And we find that r is approximately equal to 2,150 meters. This is our final answer. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.